All right, we're all set up to go. Starting a little late today, we have a uh, walk-in here to sign up for our 21 day for $21 uh, program promotion that's going on. And it took a little time to get her set up and you know get her rolling into the gym, get her registered. So I definitely could start doing this live broadcast while a new person's in here because she definitely would have never showed up for those 21 days. She would have seen this craziness that goes on here and she never would have came back in. So I had to wait a little bit until she was all set up and registered. So now we're ready to go live. Anyway, uh, this is Steve Ecker from PPZ Personal Training Bootcamp Boxing in Nanuet. After last week's video, we did a live video last week, we got such a huge response. There was a couple hundred comments on the video, tons of likes and all that other little symbols and all that other crap. So we decided to make this, try to make this a uh, regularly thing that we're going to do each week. We're actually supposed to do this on Tuesday at 3.15, but Facebook banned us. We had a, our end of six week challenge weight loss uh, challenge party this weekend on Saturday and the party with the music playing in the background so Facebook banned us from doing any kind of posting any videos or any live videos so we couldn't put that on uh, we couldn't put it on Tuesday until we were unbanned since today I even get kicked out on the internet that's how it is but you adapt you overcome you figure it out you make it happen anyway we'll go more into that party and the weight loss challenge in a little bit so today we're gonna re we're gonna what we're gonna do today is recap a little bit of what we went over what we talked about last week on the broadcast, on the live broadcast, for anyone that missed it, we're also going to cover a few things, three things that are going to be guaranteed, 100% guaranteed to help you reach your health and your fitness goals, no matter what, no matter what your situation is. Then we're going to continue to get an inside look at Peak Physique in general, our gym. We're going to go over our 15 core values that, our, that we require of our staff members, but at the same time also can be incorporated from all of our members that come into the gym. So we're going to go over all that. It's going to be some good stuff. Then we'll be announcing the winners of our Bring a Friend raffle that we had and the winner of our client that we have coming up. But I'll wait for those winners until the end because if I know we'll tell that now, you have no reason to watch. You're not just going to sit here and watch me standing here spazzing out in front of a camera for 20 minutes or however the hell long it's going to take. So I'll let you know who the winners of those contests are at the end of this. And then we're also going to do some questions. If you have any questions, you can post them down in the comments. I had a lot of questions emailed and texted to me, so we're gonna go over those questions also. I'm just gonna recap a little bit of last week, just give you a little quick breakdown of our gym, how we do things here, the culture here, just real quick, run through it. Basically, we start, I started Peak Physique, after working at one of those big commercial gyms for several, several years, when I felt there was something missing, and the people there, it just wasn't any kind of real community, real results going on, it was just a lot of bunch of individuals staring in the mirror looking at themselves. So I thought there was something missing. Uh, I had a vision of building a unique fitness culture where people who felt where they didn't fit in anywhere else, I want to make, create somewhere where they can go and they can fit in and get results. For people who might have had uh, great diversity in their life, needed some support, needed a family, a team, somewhere where they can fit in basically. People who didn't fit in anywhere. Basically, like I was explained last week in detail, but let's go over real quick how as a kid, I didn't fit in anywhere. I was pretty much the poorest kid in the school. Uh, I didn't fit in the playgrounds where kids thought I was a weirdo. I didn't fit in the elementary school where I didn't have any of the cool toys or cable TV. I didn't fit in high school because I wasn't a, a doing any of the drugs and I had no friends. I went to no parties or proms or any of that shit. Uh, I didn't fit in running wild in the streets causing trouble, nor did I fit in when I was in jail. Once I joined the Marine Corps is when I finally found somewhere I could fit in. I finally understood what support and culture and camaraderie was, and that's the exact type of environment we've created here at Peak Physique. A place where we support each other like a family. We have each other's backs no matter what where everyone, is, everyone uh, that comes here fits in. So for almost 15 years, we've been helping people all around the area, New York, New Jersey, people who thought they had no hope, no, nowhere to turn, much like I felt like before I ever joined the Marine Corps. So, you know, people who think they're a lost cause or they have no chance of changing their life or their lifestyle or their entire life in general, not even just their fitness. They come here to get in shape, but you're gonna be amazed how once you start getting healthier and more positive and start working out and training and eating better, it's gonna change your entire life, not just your fitness and your exercise and getting and losing weight. So I just knew there was more, I was made a higher calling and that's how we end up here uh, with the Peak Physique culture here. So since 2003, we've helped over 5,000 people in this area, New York, New York, New Jersey area, to lose weight, change their lives, ch change their lifestyle. So the goal here is by the year of 2020 is to help bump that up to 20,000 people that we're looking to completely transform their life, their body, their mindset, and give them a place to turn when they feel like there's nowhere else to turn, nowhere they can fit in. So like I was saying, I think how the Marine Corps pretty much saved my life, we created a culture and an environment here to save civilians' lives when you come step into our doors. 
So basically this culture was on display at, our, at the party we had for our, at a secret location for the end of our six week challenge that we just had on Saturday night. It was uh, the finale for our six week weight loss body transformation challenge. And it was a fucking freak show. We gave, uh, I, had a one, I gave a one day pass to everyone that came into, into the uh, party that they could have one sip of their favorite adult beverage. Apparently they don't know what fucking one sip is because there were empty cases of bottles of vodka and scotch Cases of wine, empty wine, beer. We had like 15 huge garbage bags filled with crap from the bottles for whatever. All drinking that did. They were trash wasted. We posted a lot of videos and pictures on for the public to see, but you didn't even see the ton that we posted on our private Facebook page. Someone said there's a delay here, so we're going to change that. All right, I'm not saying better, but whatever. So back to this, back to the party that we had. We're going to go over, you know, what the, who won the, the party, who won the, the weight loss challenge. But if you, it was, it was fucking amazing. You see, if you were at this party, if you were part of, if you're part of our team, part of our family, at PPZ, it was amazing seeing so many different people in the same place. Uh, people, these are people who never knew each other before. They might have just met each other for this six week challenge. So just six weeks ago, they never knew each other Come from all different areas of life, all different cultures. They never knew each other before they stepped foot into Peak Physique, but they came to this party, you would have thought they knew each other for fucking decades. That's, that's the kind of atmosphere that was at the party. Even people who never even crossed paths in the gym, because if you have a five in crowd and an eight fifteen crowd, those people have never seen each other. They've just seen each other maybe on Facebook or in our group or whatever, but they came into this party, you would think they were reunited for a, a long lost like family reunion, a big, big fucking peak, peak freak family party or something. Uh, based, you know, I don't smile much. Actually, I was born without the facial musculature required for smiling. But as I stood there alone in the corner at the party and observing everything that was going on, I was smiling on, I was smiling on the fucking inside, looking at witnessing the vision of what I had when we started Peak Physique, the culture that we envisioned having of all the different people getting together, people who really had nowhere to turn maybe in the past and couldn't get results anywhere else. And there, all they were wasted trashed out of their fucking minds but that's besides the point and it was just the full effect in front of my eyes what we had envisioned for peak physique when we started so it was great to see the party it was a it was a shit show but it was perfect anyway the winners of that transformation there was three visual transformation winners the winners of those were vanessa torres vanessa williams and the number one uh, transformation, transformation winner was kelly valencia then the grand prize winner who got gift cards and all kinds of gifts from all of our sponsors from vitamin shop to massage envy different hair and nail salons from around the area she won also she won six months free which is over twelve hundred dollars worth of six months of boot camp boxing unlimited training sessions here at peak physique totally free for the grand prize winner and that was tina burgos was the grand prize winner so basically next we're going to give you a deep detailed inside look at how we operate here at Peak Physique. How did we create this culture that we talked about last week? We're gonna go deep into it this week about Peak Physique's core values, what we require of our staff, and I want to make that transparent to everyone that comes in here and all of you out there. You can see exactly what we require of our staff, and then you also should think the second you step foot in this door, these core values apply to you. If you come in this gym, you're part of the team, you should be going according to these core values as well. So we live and die by these beliefs in the gym. This is what makes us who we are. So I'm sure our so-called competitors out there will now try to copy our core values, but you can't. You're a bunch of suckers, you can't do it because you're not us and you can't just copy a culture. It's, it, culture creates itself. It evolves into itself. It's created on its own. You don't really create it, it creates it. It just molds together the way it is. So it can't be recreated, it can't be copied. So basically some businesses have their generic set of core values for their staff only. But like I said, I want this to be for our members also, not just for our staff. Uh, we're all, everyone that comes in the gym here is equal parts of the team, equal, equal parts of the family. So these core values that are created are for anyone that's just for our course, and anyone can follow those. Someone said it keeps getting interrupted. I don't know. We have a connection here. Anyway, so we're going to go through all 15 of our core values, what we require of all of our staff here, what we live by, what we die by, what we create, everything that we do in this gym is based off of these core values. Every decision we make 
in this gym is based off of these core values. So number one is to bring the fucking fire every second of every second. This is for trainers. This is for members. This is for everyone on our staff, no matter what your position is, every member that walks in here, no matter what your goal is, you are required to bring the fucking fire every second of every second you step foot into this gym. Now, th this, there's m people who have never been here before that just, uh, you know, this means you're never gonna, if you've never been here before, you're gonna come in here, right off the bat, we're gonna tell you how we do things. You're never just gonna go through the motions here. You're gonna move and act and speak and perform with a sense of purpose, a sense of fucking urgency, like you have something to achieve, which you do, which is everyone comes here, like the energized fucking bunny. That's what you're gonna come in here and act like. Just nonstop, bringing the fire every second of every second. So number two is we will service the fuck out of every person that walks through these doors. And that's again, that is our staff and our members. So we are gonna be the highlight of your day. We're gonna treat, treat them like, anyone that walks through here is gonna get treated like gold. And the members are thinking the same thing. They're helping each other out. They're all on the same team. They have similar goals, similar problems. So they're here to help each other find the solutions to those problems. So number three is to treat this gym with respect and honor like it's your house, like it's your home, like it's your fucking place of worship, like it's the most important place that you're going to step into today is this gym. This is where you're going to change your life. You're going to save your life inside this place just as much as anywhere else. So that's what we do is, is treat it with respect. No, uh, number four is treating everyone in here like family. Again, like this is their home where their weirdness, their craziness, their being different is normal, is normal here and it fits in. It's not only normal, it's encouraged. We, increase, we encourage each person that comes in here to just let it out. Just be a true fucking freak when you come here. Be a peak freak when you come in here. Just let it out. Number five, we want you, when you come in here, our staff, our members, everyone, we are, it is a requirement to have fun, to be crazy, be real, be yourself, have a sense of humor, make people laugh, whatever. I don't try to make people laugh. They seem to laugh. They think I'm joking, but usually what I'm saying is serious. So if that's what makes you laugh, then whatever. Anyway, this place, it, it is like when you're coming to a class, there's a lot of middle, middle level torture techniques going on during the workouts, right? But even with that going on, it still should be fun. You should, still should be happy with a uh, feeling of accomplishing something with every little victory. Number six, results. Results are important, but they're not the most important thing in here. The most important thing in here is your experience, your overall experience and the culture that we created. That is what makes this place what it is and that is what gets results. So more important than results is the culture and the experience. If the culture and experience are where they need to be and what we envisioned and what we created and what the, the, the pieces we put into place, then the results are gonna come. This, this is your fucking home here where you, we want it to be where you never want to leave because of the culture and experience that we created. There's, once you step foot, the more time you step foot and spend inside these four walls at Peak Physique, the more magic will happen in all areas of your life, not just your fitness. So the guaranteed byproduct of that is that you'll get a shitload of fat loss and you'll get ridiculous results. So if the culture and the experience are where they are supposed to be, then you're going to get the results anyway. That's why they're more important than the results. The results are going to happen, guaranteed. If the culture and the experience are where it's supposed to be, the results are just a given. It's a guarantee. That's a, that's a bonus on top of everything else. Number seven, which I probably need some work on, is to communicate clearly and fully transparent. There should be no gossiping or bullshitting about members or anyone. Everyone is just open. It is a family. Nothing really here to hide. Obviously, communication skills probably should help. I can't go two words without saying fuck this or fuck that, but that's just the way it is. Even though I said I wasn't going to curse again, and I had a problem with that again last week. So, whatever. So, we're here to communicate to be clear. You have limitations in the workout. You have concerns or issues or problems. Just speak up. Speak up. Now, I'm not saying be a, a little bitch in every little thing you do, but speak up and we're going to help you out. This gym is, is a problem-solving business here in this gym. That's what we do is we solve problems. And clear communication is only going to help in solving all your problems, your questions, your concerns. Number eight is a huge one. They're all huge, but whatever. And they're also no, in no specific order. Every month, I'll take these 15, these 15 core values and I'll rearrange them just to show the fact that none of them are more important than the other. They are all important. You need 15 or 15 of these to, to, to make it here. That, it's required. 14 or 15 doesn't cut it. That is a failure. You need to have 15 or 15 of these firing all cylinders at all times. Anyway, to number eight. There is no negativity allowed. There's no such thing as a bad fucking day in this gym. Leave your shit and your drama and your bullshit and your gossip and your, all the shit you watch on the news and all that dumb shit that, you, that goes on in your day is useless and waste your time and sucking your energy and sucking your, your life out of you. Leave that shit out of here. Leave that shit at home. We don't want that here. So if you made it here, that's a good day. There's 
no such thing as a bad day if you, if you made it to this gym. That's a good day. If you locked your keys in your car or you got a flat tire, if that was the worst part of the day, you know what? That's a pretty good day. Um, I'm not the most religious person in the world, but I had this in the Marine Corps one time. Some bad shit was going on, whatever. Things, you know, every, whatever. There's a lot of adversity. You're training, you're doing this in the Marines. So one of my master sergeants told me one time, I guess he's a very religious person. He's telling me this story about some little man is walking, carrying this huge cross on his shoulder, his, all his problems on his shoulder. And he's begging to his God. He's t asking his God, can you please just take this cross, this, these problems off of my shoulders, this cross off of my shoulders. And help me. I, I got to get rid of this. I can't handle it. It's just too much for me. So his God, where his God is, whatever, doesn't matter. Tells him, all right, take that take the cross of yours, go into this room. You could trade it out for any other cross in the room and, and you could switch it out for whatever you want. So the guy went into the room. He looks at the, all the crosses. There's some real tiny, tiny crosses, some huge fucking crosses. He's like, hell no, I don't want those huge ones, but I don't want to be a little bitch and take the little tiny ones. So he takes one that's like not too huge, not too small, takes a medium one and walks out. And he's feeling good. He's like, all right, now shit's going to be better in my life. He's good now. He walked out with the same fucking cross that he walked in with. So basically the point is shit isn't always as bad as you think it is. And trust me, shit could always be a lot worse. I guarantee you there's people all around you in your day that you're around that are going through shit 10 times worse and 10 times more of a struggle and more diversity than you are. And you're sitting there probably acting like a little bitch and they're just sitting there grinding, doing what they need to be doing, taking care of their own shit. And you don't even know about it because shit could always be worse. Trust me. Number nine, lose your fucking ego. You can learn something new from, from new and positive from, some, from anyone, from everyone, everyone you meet every single day. Even someone that's here their first day or someone you just met, someone that you think you're so high and far above, have so much more experience than or whatever. You can learn something new from someone every day. It's called having a white belt, white belt mentality. Like in martial arts, you start at a white belt, you work yourself to a black belt. But if you always have that white belt mentality that you're always trying to learn something new, always trying to get learn, learn something positive and build upon, that's what it's called. There's a baseball player douchebag with the steroids what's his name barry bonds he's a scumbag whatever but he said one time he said well, whatever had all the records of hitting and, and in baseball they asked him how is he how did he get so great at baseball how does he become such a great hitter he said he studies all the different players he's making whatever a hundred million dollars a year he's looking at guys are making like pennies but he's picking up little things from their swing and their style that he's incorporating into his style that's making him who he is. So he's learning something from every little person he meets and that's making him such a great player, even though he's a fucking asshole, but whatever. That's besides. All right, number 10 is to be a part of the team. Every single position, whether in our staff or in the gym, every single position here, every single staff member, every person that walks through the door into the group classes is equally important and vital to each other's success. You're missing one piece of the puzzle, one weak link in the chain and it collapses, right? So we rely on each other here. We feed off each other. Positive energy and motivation is fucking infectious. You could feel it around the room. When there's one person that's not bringing it in, bringing that fire every second for every second, which was, of course, we had core value number one that we talked about, that's gonna affect the people around you. So everyone else's job is to bring that person up and get them up to speed because it is infectious. Number 11 is to become a better version of yourself today than we, we were yesterday. There's no finish line in life. The only finish line in life is fucking death. So if you're not striving every day to become a better version of who you are today, to become a better version tomorrow who you are today, or in a better version today than you were yesterday, you get the point. Then if that's not your goal in life, then I don't know, you should just bash your head on a fucking wall because you need to always be striving to get better and better every day. There's no finish line. Finish line is death. Finish line is the end. That's it. And then even there, whatever. Number 12, we're going to over promise and over deliver. That means as a trainer, we are going to promise to lead you, guide you, teach you, motivate you, help you. And your job is to promise to show up with a positive attitude, work hard. And then you know what? The trainer and the members here are both going to over deliver and deliver twice as much as what they promised. And that's how you're going to get ridiculous, crazy results and completely transform your entire life. Number 13 is adapt and overcome. Do not crumble under pressure. Find the solutions, not problems. If an exercise is hard, you know what? Modify it. Come up with a different way of doing it. And we're going to help you with that. Practice it. Improve upon it. Learn it. Perfect it. We'll help you with every little bit you need, but you need to be willing to adapt and overcome. Figure it out. Sometimes doing it on the fly to make shit happen. Make magic happen. That's how it's going to happen. Number 14. If you're always on your A game, you never have to get on your A game. Basically, always be prepared. You should come in here 
are we required of our staff and you should be coming in here as a member. Every day, everything you do, a, a fucking plan A, B, C, all the way to Z, and then at plan A.1, A.2, B.1, it should never end. You should be prepared and ready for everything. Always ready for the invasion. Always staying sharp, alert, motivated. And that's what's going to keep you always on your game. If you're always on your game, you never have to get on your game. Your worst day, if you can make it through one of these grueling sessions where you think it's your worst day, you're not feeling it, you have a little sniffle and you just want to go lay in bed like a little bitch with your little split pea soup or some shit. If you get to the gym, you get through that workout on that day and that's your worst day and you're feeling like crap, now think about what you're going to be capable of on your best day. So sometimes you just got to just suck it up. Always be on your A game. Number 15 is an obvious one, pretty simple, self-explanatory, never make any excuses and never accept any. Obviously, no excuses, right? So that's simple. So now that's our 15 core values here that we have at Peak Physique. For everyone that's just putting here, this is just for our staff. This is for the members also. So now that you know these core values I've shared with you, kind of give an inside look into how we do things, how we created this culture here, I'm gonna challenge everyone that comes in here, our staff, our members, even people who've never been here before, I'm going to challenge you to take yourself and the trainers and make them accountable. Even me, make me fucking accountable for everything that I just mentioned here. Take us to task on implementing every single one of these core values every second of every day, not just in the gym, but in your personal life. This stuff is not just in the gym that I mentioned. This just happens to relate to the gym, but every one of those things can be done outside of the gym easily, no problem. So, that's what you need to do is incorporate this stuff and make sure everyone that comes in this gym is living on according to those core values. Every member, every trainer, every client, every single fucking person that comes in here. And it's gonna change your life. It's gonna create magic. Anyway, we have some questions we're gonna get to, but first, we're gonna announce those winners. So the winner, we had a uh, bring a friend raffle. The winner of that was Steve Owen. If you didn't get your gift, your prizes for that, then make sure you let someone know or whatever. And then we have a client of the month. A client of the month, every month, we just started this December, so this will be our third client of the month right now. Client of the month is based off of consistency with measuring, uh, their measurement tracking, like their body fat percentage and their weight, doing their weigh-ins and their measurements every week, consistently. Their gym check-ins, right, every time they come into their gym, check in on Facebook, because you know we donate. The more you check in, the more we donate to a different charity every month. This month's charity is to blind uh, guide dogs, guide dogs for the blind. So every the more you check into the gym, the more we donate to charity. So the, keep checking in every time you come in. That this time of the month is based off of your overall attitude. You're posting in our VIP page. You're tracking of your meals and your nutrition. So the for the month of February, the client of the month was Christine Condon. So that means now this December coming up in uh, 2017, there'll have been 12 clients of the month. Those two clients of the month then all become eligible for client of the year. What client of the year is going to do is we'll announce at our uh, party, our holiday party there at the end of the year in December is that winner of the client of the year will be named from those 12 clients of the month. That's how you get eligible to become client of the year is to be one of those 12 clients of the month. So, so far, we have three of them. Name the people. Fitness and ambassador, and they will win a full year of challenges. Let's see. See what kind of questions we have here. I feel the same. They're cutting off, but I don't know why. If you are, you can rewatch. In the thing, in the uh, it'll be posted. You could rewatch it if you have to. Is that your emotion showing? I'm not sure what that word means, so I don't know. I have to look it up in the the, the the source or something. Let's see. And someone said, "I always see your sign on Route 59 for free boxing. What's the catch?" That was a message we got a emailed in today about before, when we were asking for questions for the show. So what's the catch of free boxing? The catch is there is no catch. There is zero catch. There's absolutely for free boxing, the free boxing boot camp class. There's no catch. There's absolutely no fee or membership required ever for that class. It's not just a one time thing either. Basically, you can come every fucking week to that free class. It's every Thursday night at 615. You can come every week and never pay a dime. That is the whole purpose of it. Basically, I wanted to give 
uh, everyone a chance to experience our culture no matter what, no matter what your situation is. Everyone has a chance to come and try the gym out no matter what. So I want to offer packages and options for everyone. So being free, it's kind of hard to create excuses for that shit, right? Uh, the free class, we've been doing that for almost eight years now. We've been, I'll actually be training the free, free boxing bootcamp class tonight, 6.15. So you want to come get your ass whooped, come on in tonight, 6.15, totally free. Not just for new members either. You can come to this every single week, even if you've been here before. It's every single Thursday night, 6.15. Let's see. Why do you, someone asked me, why do you wear two different shoes? I'm going to show you why. Hold on one second. So this is why, this is why I wear two shoes. Cause you know why I gave, I, I spent too many years, come over here, spent too many years worrying about what other, thinking whatever someone, whatever other people think when I was a kid or when I was growing up or in high school, all this other, all this other crap. So spent too much time worrying about that. So you know what? Now every day I will wear two different shoes. Tyson wants to go to school with his shirt inside out and backwards. I don't give a damn. He goes to school and he wears it. That's the way he wants to do it. This one wanted to wear pajamas all day today. So look, she came to the gym in pajamas, in her pajamas. So because we don't, I don't give an F. I, don't, I stopped giving an F a long time ago. I'm going to do it the way that I want to do it, when I want to do it, how I want to do it. And that's why I wear two different shoes, because I can. Why do you wear two of the same shoes? I should ask you that same question. I wear two different shoes because I, all right, they're gone so they can't hear me anymore. I wear two different shoes because I fucking want to. That's why. Because I have the freedom to do it. What else we got here? Let's see. So I just pulled another couple questions off. It's no uh, excuses. No excuses. No excuses. All right, crazies, go, go, go. They're completely, absolutely nuts. I can't imagine where they get it from. Anyway, because I'm completely normal. Anyway, someone else asked, what are the questions over here? I don't know, something about clothing is optional. I don't know. It's a ton of comments here. It's hard to see which ones are questions. Um, clothing is optional, right? Sure, I don't care. Listen, if that's what it's going to take, you come in here and you do a little thong, do what you got to do there, Maureen. You can wear your thong to the workout or whatever else you don't want to wear. Anyway, another question is, I've been coming to you guys for a while, a couple of years now. How the hell do you guys always have different workouts every time I never get a workout? It's amazing. Well, thanks. And someone said we should have pajama day. All right, there you go, pajama day. People wear it. It's half the tap time in here is pajama day. Half people come in here in their pajamas anyway. We don't give a damn. We don't give a fuck, like I said. That's why we're two different shoes. That's why she wears pajamas to the gym. That's why Tyson wears his clothes shirt backwards to school. He shows up to school with his shirt backwards he says oh Tyson let me fix it you, you know your shirts on backwards right you must have been confused in the morning he said no I'm not confused that's how I want to wear it you know what he tells me that's how he wants to wear it the hell he's gonna wear it who's gonna tell me he can't why is, why is that wrong he's gonna do what he wants to do anyway so they said how, how are the I've never repeated a workout in a couple years how do you guys do it it's always a different workout well basically we don't want you to get bored when you're doing your, your workouts in the gym right so we plan for a completely different session every single day you'll, you'll never go through a workout here in the gym, no matter how hard, crazy, grueling it is, that I haven't personally fucking done myself, that I haven't already been through. I haven't already tested it, changed it, tweaked it, and then perfected it before it reaches the workout floor. I will personally go through every single one, and you can be guaranteed of that. There is nothing you will do in here that I, hell, that you will do in here that I haven't put myself through first. I will always go through hell before you can, because you know what that's going to do? I'll also make, you know, have, we'll have the other trainers go through all these workouts too, because how am I going to sit here and tell you to do some crazy training if I can't understand what you're going to do? The fact that I've done it all and I've been there and I've been in the trenches Anyway, so, so 
with that, I forgot to make sure that I put the interval put the framework. They don't do it. If you can't do it, if you can't do it, if I can't make it, I'm sweating it out, suffering, making myself better. Either 4:15 or 5:15, depending on my schedule. One of those two. New cleaning crew. Dirty of Any other All right. Is Herbalife sold in large quantities? Yes, we have tons of uh, supplements here. Uh, meal replacements. Tea, actually, right here is my tea. So that's probably why I'm always bouncing up the walls like a freak. My Herbalife tea right here. I need a quick sip. It's actually an Herbalife decoction of my tea and my lift off. Probably why I'm bouncing up the walls all the time like a freak. Or it's also probably part because I'm sick in the head. Anyway, any other questions on here that I'm missing? If I missed any, I'll go back in the comments later and I'll reply to them if there's none under here. They say they keep losing connection, but this will be posted later. So right now, I think that's it for today. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or call, text, email. Don't forget, tonight, six, six, first, 4.15, 5.15, we have classes. 4.15 is boxing, 5.15 is boot camp. I'll be taking one of those classes with you guys. I'm not sure which one yet. 6.15, I'll be teaching the free boxing class, so anyone's welcome to come to that. Also, if you look in the up above or down below, wherever the link is, I put in a link there for the current promotion we have going on. 21 days for only $21. That is six days per week you have available to you. The weight loss boot camp classes. So click on that link, $21. Can't go wrong. And if that's it, and I'll see you guys later on.